Your warm-up today is going to be in your workbook on page 357. You are going to sequence rigid motions, meaning you will perform more than one motion. So in the first one, you will reflect across the y-axis and then perform a translation and label that image B. For number two, you will do a rotation and a reflection, label it C. And for number three, a translation and a rotation, labeled D. Here are the steps for those three problems to be completed in your workbook. For today's lesson, you can remove page 137. There should be a side one and side two labeled in your workbook. We are going to use this for the next few problems. To begin, we are going to make a prediction for each of these sequences. It says figure X is the image of figure ABC under the sequence of rigid motions in the given order meaning the reflection across line L first and then across line M. Figure Y is the image of ABC under the sequence of rigid motions in the opposite order, meaning that it's going to reflect across M first and then reflect over L second. So they're swapping the order. Now our job is to predict, are the locations of X and Y the same? Meaning if we do reflect across L then M, is that going to land us in the same position as if we reflect over M first and then L? So you're going to go through and make a prediction for sequence L, stating whether it will be in the same location, so a yes or a no. Do the same for sequence M, a translation then a reflection. Is that going to be in the same place as the reflection followed by the translation? Make your prediction here. Is a translation and then a rotation going to land you in the same position as a rotation followed by a translation? Yes or no? How about a rotation and a reflection? What if we swap the order? Will they be in the same location? Yes or no? And the same for P. And Q. Is this order going to be the same as if we do it in the opposite order? How about for Q? Now we are going to split up into teams. So for example, one team will be in charge of sequence Q. One partner will perform them in the order that is stated, and the second person will perform it in the opposite order to discuss whether they end up in the same location or not. I am going to show you two examples from these sequences, and then you can try the remaining ones on your removable from page 135 and 136. So we are performing those sequences on these two pages and it tells you specifically which side to perform your sequence on. So I'm going to do L and M. If you would like to do the other four on your own, you can try those as well. For L, the first thing I need to do is reflect across L, then across M. So to start, I am going to trace A, B, C, and line L, and then reflect. So now we will take that tracing paper and we're going to flip it over and we're going to make sure that our lines lined up with L. And now we need to reflect over M. So we're going to trace line M. to reflect over M using this figure here. 
and we end up down here. So this is figure X. Now to determine Y, we're going to first reflect over M and then reflect over L. We're changing the order of our sequence. So I'm going to trace over ABC again, but this time I'm going to reflect over M first and then L. So we will select those using our tracing paper and flip it over, line M first. And then we will need to trace line L to reflect this figure over line L. So on our tracing paper, these two figures reflected, line up your line. And this one is called figure Y. Now, did figure X and figure Y end up in the same location? Or did the order of our reflections matter? So if we go back to the sequence L, when we went L and then M, are the locations of figure X and figure Y the same? The actual should say no. Your prediction could have said yes or no, but in reality, the order of those sequences matter. So if it tells you to do line L first, make sure you follow the steps in the correct order that it's telling you. All right, for sequence M, we're gonna use that second page. We are going to start with a translation three down and six right, then reflect across the x-axis. So this is gonna be on that grid. Begin by tracing the figure. We are moving this figure three down, one, two, three, and six to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we are going to reflect it over the x-axis so we can trace this x-axis here. Select them and reflect. Make sure it lines back up with the x-axis. And it is in its new location. This is figure X. For figure Y, we need to reflect over the x-axis first. So we will trace the figure, the original figure, and the x-axis. Now this figure needs shifted three down and six to the right. So three down, one, two, three, six to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So is it in the same location? No, the order of these sequences also matters. If you would like to try N, O, P, and Q on those two sides, you may. For problems two and three, you are going to create a sequence of rigid motions for which the order does not matter. Use the plane or the coordinate plane. Drop any needed vectors, lines of reflection, or points of rotation, and write the sequence in the space provided for problems two and three. Specifically in problems two, you should use the same type of rigid motion. So for example, two translations, two reflections, or two rotations. In number three, you need a combination of two different rigid motions. So I'm going to use a program called GeoGebra. And I have RST here. I've drawn in two different vectors. 
So I'm going to show what it would look like to translate along two vectors and then what would happen if I change the order. So we're translating this figure along vector AB first and then we're translating along CD second. So this is where it would end up if you go AB first and then CD. Now here's what would happen if we went CD first and then along AB. Translate, translate by a vector, I don't want E in there, we are translating this figure along this one second and you can see that it lines up in the same spot. So if we translate along AB it moves it up and then back down to this place, this one would translate it down first and then up to the same location. So in here on problem two we can say translate along vector AB and then translate along vector CD And if we were to change the order of these two rigid motions, it would still put us in the same spot. So the order of these does not matter. Now we need to look at another example. So this time we are going to rotate and reflect. So first we are going to rotate this figure around the origin we're going to go 180 degrees counterclockwise and then we are going to reflect over the x-axis. Well, it just gave me part of the line. Let's try again. We want to reflect about a line. We want this whole figure over the x-axis. There we go. Now we're going to try reflecting this figure over the x-axis first and then rotating 180 degrees around the origin. And you can see we land in the exact same spot. So this is an in-between step and so is this, but both of them ended up here in their final position. So a reflection over the x-axis and a 180 degree rotation about the origin. So we've written both of those in here for problem three. Remember in this one we needed them to be the same motion and this we need two different motions. Please make sure your workbook is filled in and your warm-ups are complete. For this lesson the key takeaway is that in some instances the sequence matters and they end up in different spots but in other cases it could be that your two figures will land in the same position. But when in doubt, just follow the order that it tells you in the instructions.